We've talked about routes, we've talked about views and controllers. What's left in the MVC is the model. A model is a class that helps us communicate with the database. To create a model in Lavo, you can use artisan, PHP artisan, make, model, and in this case, we're going to create a model called to do. If you check the app folder, you would see we have a new file called todo.php and a todo class is created which simply extends illuminate database eloquence model. So any class that extends this model class is automatically a model in Lavo. So this todo is going to help us communicate with a database table called todos, but we don't have that database table yet. In fact, we don't even have a database yet. So how do we set up our database? In the .env file, you can see that we have a place where we can place the credentials for our database. So here we can put the connection MySQL, since we're using the MySQL database. Then we can have a host, which is localhost, since the database is installed locally on our computers. Then we have a port, which is the default port for MySQL. Then we have to pass a database name, the username for the user we are going to use to access the database and the password for that user. So I'm going to use MySQL to create a new database. So create database to do app. And now my database is created so I can exit MySQL. Now in my environment variable file, I can say db database to do app and the user is going to be root and there is no password. So if you're using AMP or XAMPP or XAMPP, you can create a database using phpMyAdmin or anything like that. Now, how do we create the to-do's table like we said? You can also go to exam and create a to-do's table, but that's not how things are done in Lavo. We are going to use what is called a migration file. A migration file is a file that helps us create database tables and manage database tables in a Lavo application. To create a migration, we can say php at san make migration and we pass in the name of the migration. In most cases, the name of the migration represents exactly what you want the migration to do. In this case, we want a migration that is going to help us create a to-do's database table. So we're going to say create to-do's table. And now we have a message that says created migration. So if you go to our database migrations folder, you can see that there's a new file there called create to do's table. Now this is a PHP class that extends migration from Lavo and all it does is help us create database tables. So you can see that there's some default migrations that come with Lavo, which is the users table and the passwords table. We'll talk about that in future. Now we are focused on the migration we have. So every migration in Lavo has an up function and a down function. We can run migrations using the up function and we can undo those migrations using the down function. So now that I've configured my database, let me show you how to run the migrations. So to run migrations, we can say php addsan migrate and Lavo runs the migrations. So Lavo is going to come to the up function and it's going to run the code here. It's also going to come to the up function of this migration and run only this code and also come here and run only this one. So what is the effect of this? If we go to our database, you can use something like SQL Pro. I have SQL Pro, so I'm going to use SQL Pro to show you my database. So to connect to my database, I'm just going to put in 127.0.0.1 roots and no password. So if you're using exam or anything like that, you can connect to your database using phpMyAdmin or even the terminal. In this case, I want to open up the database called todos app right here. And you can see that the todos app database has four tables, todos, users, password resets, and migrations. The migrations table is a table added by Lavo just to keep track of what migrations have been run already. So 
you can see that the three migrations we have created different tables. Now, let's run PHP artisan, migrate, rollback. And this is going to call the down functions in all of the migrations. So if I hit enter, if we come back to SQL Pro and refresh, you can see that we have just the migrations table left. So PHP at sun migrate runs the up function, which creates users table, creates password reset table, and creates the to do table. PHP at sun migrate rollback runs the down function, which drops the users table if it exists, drops the password reset table, and also drops the to do table. Okay. So now you know how to run migrations and roll back those migrations. Let's go ahead to our to-do's table and talk about exactly what fields we want or what columns we want. So to create a column, we simply call the table string function depending on what column type we want. In this case, we want a string field. So we're going to give this a name. So what this means is create a column called name and the type of that column should be string. We are also going to create a column of text type, and this is going to be description. So we have a column called description and the type is text. We can also create one called completed, and this is going to be a Boolean. So this is going to be completed. So, we have modified our migration to create three columns, name, description, and completed. The first one is of type string, the second one is of type text, and the next is of type boolean. So we need to run our migrations. So PHP add sign, migrate, refresh is a command that is going to cancel all of the migrations and then run the new ones. So it's going to roll back and then run the migrations again. Okay, so now that we've migrated, refreshed, if we come back to our application, if we check out the to do's table, you can see we have the ID field, the name field, the description field, and the completed field. The created and updated were created by this function called timestamps, which is simply going to help us know when a specific row in the database was created or updated. So if you check out the structure, you see that the name is of type varchar. The description is of type text. The Boolean field right here is of type tiny int, which is completed. And the created and not updated at our timestamps. Okay. So that's how we can create a migration and help us automatically create database tables in our database. Let's talk more about how to communicate with our database using models in the next lesson.